Checklists are an important way to stay organized and ensure that you don't miss any important task. However, manually checking off items on a list can be time-consuming and tedious. What if you could create an interactive checklist in Excel that would do the work for you? Hello there, welcome to Excel Demi, where you can learn Excel and Excel VBA related problems. This is Sabrina Oyan and today we will learn how to create an interactive checklist in Excel. So, without any delay, let's get into the video. Here we are using Microsoft Excel 365. Whether you are a busy professional or just looking for a better way to manage your personal task, an interactive checklist in Excel can help you stay on top of everything. I'll show you how to do that using Excel's powerful features to make your checklist interactive and easy to use. We will utilize the dataset of the Home Office checklist with replies to illustrate the procedures. Information regarding a list of items required for the Home Office is provided in column B. We have details on the product's availability in column C. So, let's see step-by-step -step procedures to create an interactive checklist in Excel. Enable the Developer tab. We must make the Developer tab active. You can skip this step if the Developer tab is already displayed in the ribbon. To active the Developer tab, choose the File tab, then choose Options, tick mark the Developer box under Customize Ribbon. Click OK. Or you can just right click on the ribbon, go to Customize tab, and check mark the Developer tab, then click OK. Put a checkbox. Now, I'll add a new column named Status. I'll place the checkbox in the Status column. For this, choose Insert from the Developer tab. Locate the checkbox icon in the Form Controls area and click it. A plus symbol is shown. Now, insert the checkbox by clicking on the D5 cell. You're free to choose the name of the checkbox. If you right click on the box, a dialog will appear. To alter the checkbox name, click Edit Text. I assign the checkbox name available. Create multiple checkboxes. Utilize the fill handle by holding the cursor down at the right bottom corner of cell D5 and dragging it down. This will create multiple checkboxes in column D. Connect cells and checkboxes. We will receive a check mark for each piece of data. We will now do a right click on the D5 cells box. Choose Format Control. A new window called Format Control will then appear. Select Control tab. Put a check mark. Next to Unchecked, choose the cell you wish to link after doing so in Cell Link. Here I choose E5. Click OK. When the checkbox in the D5 cell is checked, the E5 cell will display True. If the checkbox in cell D5 is not checked, the cell E5 will display False. By adjusting the value of mixed in the format control box, you may alter the pattern of true and false. Ticking on will then display false and vice versa. The E6 through E14 cell in the connected cells column now require the same manual action. As a result, the column D and column E checkbox are now connected. The connected cells column will change if the checkbox are changed. Engage with the checklist. Shift the availability column to the E column and remove the entries from the availability column. Choose the B5 to B14 range of cells now. Choose conditional formatting from the ribbon. Choose new rule. 
the window for new formatting rules will now show up. Choose Use a Formula to determine which cells to format. In the formula box, press equals. I click on D5 and I remove the dollar sign before the row number because I want the whole column will be formatted. Then equals true. To alter the format, click format. You can choose the format you want to use for displaying true values. I choose font style bold, font color red. Now go to fill tab. Here you may choose the backdrop color. So I choose this color and click OK. You may see the preview right now in the create formatting rule box. Press OK. We can now see the change in the dataset. The changed format is displayed in column B when the checkbox is selected. By clicking on any status bar, you may check. Let's say we purchased a file cabinet. So we will check the file cabinet. Due to the interlinking of the checklist, the connected cell and home office checklist columns have been updated. Connect the availability to the checklist. We now wish to make some adjustments to the E column. According to the status, we want to display available or not available. I use the if function here and write the formula. The cursor is at the right bottom corner of cell E5. Utilize the fill handle by dragging it down while holding it there. The availability column is now the target for the formula. Format the fonts of availability column. I want something more interactive. So I choose cell form E5 to E14. Now make some adjustments to the available column. Choose the new formatting rule window from the conditional formatting comment button. Select use a formula to determine which cells to format. Write the formula. Next, select format. Choose the formatting you desire in a similar manner. I've chosen the bold font style and strike through effect under the font option. Click OK. Again, OK. We can see the modification. Not available is highlighted with a strike through in the availability column. Our knowledge of the dataset will be made simpler as a result of this adjustment. Add a summary based on the checklist. Total items, available item, and availability percentage are all included in the summary. I use the counter function in cell C18 to determine the overall number of items. And the formula is count A, B5 to B14. Then I use the count if function in cell C19 to determine the total number of objects available. Next, I use the formula to change the format to percentage to determine the availability percentage in column C20. By hitting Ctrl plus 1, you may change the format to percentage. The information about the total item, the available item and the availability percentage is now displayed in the summary. Now select Comfy Chair and see the transformation. The Home Office Checklist columns layout has altered as a result. The item is also indicated as being available in the availability column. Available products and availability percentage are also enhanced in the summary. Since the checklist interacts with other data, 
it may be called to be interactive. You can download the practice workbook from the description box to reinforce your understanding of the concept covered in this video lesson. Hope this will help you. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section or you can have a glance at exaldemi.com. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please consider subscribing for more content like this.